What's going on everyone? Welcome to another video. Scott McLeod here. Road to First Show, Episode 6. <laughs> complete. It's currently Monday, September 6th. So it is Labor Day. Happy Labor Day. But the gym was absolutely swamped with people. The gym that I go to, it closes at noon today because of the holiday. So got in there, got it done. I was able to film just about one set of every exercise. So what I'm going to do is sneak in a screenshot. So all of the exercises, reps, and sets will be provided in this overlay. Be sure to screenshot the workout. Very good workout. You're definitely not gonna want to miss this one it is always a little bit awkward when the gym is crowded to try to sneak the camera in and not get in anyone's way you do got to be comfortable feeling a little uncomfortable but again I'm trying to be respectful and not get in anyone's way hope you enjoyed the workout screenshot the workout give this one a try post-workout meal, sitting down with some pumpkin spice anabolic protein pancakes. Yes, you heard that correctly, pumpkin spice. Let me show you how I made these. You should know what time it is, protein pancakes, but since it's that time of year, we're doing a little bit of a spin on these protein pancakes. Of course, using the Kodiak cake buttermilk pancakes, but we're gonna make these pumpkin spice. So everything's gonna remain pretty similar. We got the big mixing bowl here, throw it on the food scale, take out the batter, weighing out that batter, contest prep, gotta be diligent. So I'm using two servings, that's 106 grams right here on the scale. Now, since these are gonna be pumpkin spice, we are adding half of a serving of pumpkin puree. I'll show you how we do that in just a minute. Since we're adding that pumpkin puree, we're actually gonna do a little bit less water. So it usually calls for three fourths cup water, if I'm not mistaken. I just do two fourths or a half cup water in this instance with the pumpkin spice iteration. So let me get this half cup of water. There's one fourth. There's the other fourth. Yes, I could have just used the half cup measuring cup, but this one's always out because I'm making these protein pancakes all the time. I am still gonna be adding two whole eggs, so let's get these eggs in there. Two whole eggs right in the mix. And now, this is when we go a little bit off the cuff. We're just cooking from the soul. So I picked up some 100% pure pumpkin, pumpkin puree. One serving is 120 grams. I'm just gonna throw half a serving in there, so 60 grams. So that was about 35 there. 60 grams right there. So mixing up the 60 grams of 
the pumpkin puree into the batter. And then we're gonna continue to get a little wild and crazy here. What we're gonna do is we're gonna coat in some ground cinnamon here. Again, just from the sole, gonna dump a whole bunch in there. And for the pumpkin spice protein pancakes, I'm adding a little bit of pure vanilla extract. Just kind of putting a little splash of that vanilla in there. And then let's go ahead and get some of this cinnamon going. I don't know if you can see that, but we're just gonna give it a nice coating. This cinnamon's running a little low, don't worry. There's more cinnamon where that came from. Obviously, don't forget about your Mickey Mouse themed rubber spatula. This is a must. Now, I'm also typically making this into two bigger pancakes, but since they're a little thicker, with some of those additives, the pumpkin puree, etc., you would benefit from making them a little bit smaller to allow them to cook through. But I'll show you what the first one looks like on the stove top here. So there we are with the batter in the bowl. Obviously, gonna scrape that out with the rubber spatula, Mickey Mouse theme. Don't forget about it. But there's one letting that cook through. And since this is 2021, you know we're using that calorie free cooking spray. This is a must. In addition to your sugar free syrup that we've talked about plenty of times now. So now that you know how to make them, I can take that proper first bite for the homies. These pumpkin spice protein pancakes are hitting on a new level. I'm starving, this is post-workout. I need to get these pancakes down, so I'm gonna sit here and enjoy these. <laughs> So it's a little while after those pumpkin spice anabolic protein pancakes. Sitting here getting some work done. Mondays are the days that I check in with my coach. Again, I am working with Steven Bogrand from Team Pro Physique. Highly recommend Steven and Team Pro Physique for anyone looking to get show ready. So to check in with Steven, I do send him some update pictures and I do that posing with my cell phone on the vertical screen and then I take screenshots of the video. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get back out there and pose again for exclusive posing content exclusive to this road to first show series right here on this YouTube channel posing in front of the GoPro
just after posing. Hold on, let me fix this lighting situation. We got a bright sun coming through the window. I apologize. Sitting down with a meal, six ounces of 99.1 lean ground turkey, 170 grams of jasmine rice, and 200 grams of asparagus. I switched from broccoli over to asparagus for most of my meals because you can eat more asparagus Okay, so actually just gonna switch seats because that sun is brutal over there. Same meal here. With the meal, you know we're working with a calorie-free drink, Polar Seltzer. As you can see with the posing and the physique update, I still have a lot of work to do. To be completely honest and transparent with all of you, posing is at times frustrating for me. I try to remind myself that I just want to get a little bit better each time. I try to stay calm. I try to tell myself that I am going to get better, to trust the process, to continue to practice, 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 practice. But sometimes, you know, it's just a little frustrating. Now that being said, I am doing everything that I can to get better at posing. So next Tuesday, September 14th, I I do have a session booked with Kenny Wallach. Maybe some of you are familiar with Kenny Wallach. Maybe some of you have never heard of Kenny Wallach, but he does in-person posing in Massachusetts and I believe in New Jersey as well. Now it's gonna be in Marlboro, Massachusetts, which I think is about an hour from me without traffic. We all know that there's always traffic in the greater Boston area, but Kenny Wallach is the best in the business. I'll pop his Instagram up on the screen. Check Kenny out if you're like me and you're struggling with posing. Maybe it's your first time as well. You've never really posed before. I'm excited to get on over there to Marlboro and pose with Kenny, hoping to get as much knowledge as possible and to continue to improve, get a little bit better each time because that's all that we can do. Okay, later on in the evening, just finished up my dinner if you even want to call it that. It's about meal four or five here. This meal, very similar to the previous meal that I just held up. Ground turkey, rice, and asparagus. So how is prep going for me? Well, to be completely honest, it's getting a little bit tough. I feel at my best when I'm eating or just after a meal. I am very hungry in between meals. I'm trying my best to space out my meals as much as possible so that I'm never hungry at night. That's worst case scenario if you're hungry at night and you have no more food left. I'm doing my best to space these meals out, to always give myself a nighttime snack. After I consume that nighttime snack, I'm pretty much hitting the sheets, getting to bed right away, waking up and really looking forward to that anabolic hot cereal for breakfast every single morning. It is much needed. So to be completely honest, things are getting hard. Doing my best to eat low calorie, dense foods, filling up my plate with volume. So I already talked about switching over to a asparagus because you can eat more volume of asparagus in comparison to broccoli. I was using broccoli previously. When calories are the same and you look at a plate of asparagus and a plate of broccoli, there's going to be more volume with the asparagus on it. And there is another switch that I made for my nighttime snack. So instead of blueberries, I've been crushing blueberries lately. I've actually switched on over to strawberries because again, same rules apply. You can eat a bigger bowl of strawberries as opposed to blueberries for the same number of calories. I'm also doing my best to stay sipping on water all day, every day. Filling up my stomach on those calorie-free drinks, those Powerade Zeros, Polar Seltzer water. I am abusing the heck out of caffeine, drinking tons of coffee throughout the day. For some reason, when I drink a nice hot coffee, the hot beverage, or a hot tea, I feel as though it fills me up or at least eliminates some bits of hunger and allows me to push another 20, 30 minutes, get to the next meal. So hot beverages, calorie-free drinks, filling up on water, doing everything that I I can to stay satiated and mitigate some of that excessive hunger that I've been feeling between meals. Pickles is another cheat code. If you look at the food label on a bottle of pickles for one of the slices, it's usually less than a gram of carb. So yes, there are calories in that, but if you're really in a pinch, you're really struggling, have some pickles, drink some more water, drink those calorie free drinks, get yourself to the next meal, space your meals out, give yourself a nighttime snack so you're not hungry at night because again, that's going to mess 
up your sleep. Those are some of the tips and tricks that I've been implementing. Hopefully that can help some of you if you find yourself in a similar position, or maybe you're just dieting and you're looking for some tips and tricks to fill your plate with volume. Low calorie dense foods is gonna be the name of the game. Fill up on those fruits and vegetables, make it to the next meal, stay hydrated. And when it's all said and done, and it's getting really tough, you have all kinds of negative thoughts running through your head, just remember why you're doing this in the first place. Why do you find yourself on this journey? What motivates you? What's your reason why? So I hope you're all able to find some value in this video. I'm happy to share all of my tips and tricks with all of you, sharing things as I learn them, going through it in terms of this diet, but getting stronger because of it. Hope you enjoyed that workout edit. I did sneak in a screenshot. Be sure to screenshot the workout. Give that chest and triceps workout a shot. It was an excellent workout. Then we mixed on up those anabolic protein pancakes, the pumpkin spice iteration this time around because tis the season. Gave you all that physique update. I will be continuing to practice my posing as much as possible. If you found value in this video, if you enjoyed this one, please give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. I drop two videos a week, every Tuesday and every Saturday, 10 a.m. Eastern time. And I would love to have you along here with me for this entire YouTube journey. And I'll see you all in the next video. Secret letters for the giveaway, N-A, November Alpha. That's N-A, November Alpha.